Columbia is now uh, approaching the Baja Peninsula about a minute away from the first roll reversal. And then this will be a uh, right to left turn, continuing to uh, dissipate the uh, speed and energy built up in the orbiter, uh, all of which uh, occurred during the uh, ascent phase of the mission 16 days ago. Columbia is traveling 15,000 miles per hour. The present altitude is 227,000 feet. Currently descending at a rate of about 75 feet per second. Uh, traveling uh, at a distance now of 1,800 nautical miles uh, from the landing site. That's about 2,100 statute miles. Range landing site, uh, 720 nautical miles, about 830 statute miles. Current altitude, 188,000 feet, and time to touchdown is 14 minutes, 35 seconds. Columbia's onboard software should be uh, shortly commanding the second roll reversal, this one from left to right. The uh, orbiter's altitude is uh, down to 166,000 feet, traveling now 7,000 miles per hour. Range from the landing site, uh, 380 nautical miles, or about uh, 700 kilometers. The uh, energy ground track, now or go, take tack ends. Take tack ends. And Columbia, uh, to go with that update of the 1,750-foot touchdown, uh, just a reminder for the winds to aggressively follow guidance on the hack and expect a shear around 5,000 feet uh, due to the crosswind rolling into a headwind on final. Copy that, Scotty. Columbia is now uh, receiving uh, range, elevation, and bearing data through its onboard tactical air navigation system. Long range uh, cameras picking up Columbia now as it approaches the upper west coast of uh, Florida at a range of uh, about uh, 260 statute miles from the landing site, traveling 4,600 miles per hour at an altitude of 137,000 feet. Time to touchdown, 9 minutes, 50 seconds. Okay, okay, okay. Long range uh, tracking cameras picking Columbia up as it approaches the west coast. Present altitude is 118,000 feet, traveling 3,400 miles per hour. Very shortly, the final uh, third and final roll reversal will be commanded by the onboard software, a right to left turn.
Range to the landing site 124 nautical miles. Time to touch down 8 minutes 10 seconds. The air data probes have been deployed on either side of the nose of the orbiter. These uh, probes provide information to the computers and cockpit displays. Through uh, air data receivers, which are receiving atmospheric pressure information from the air data probes, for use by the onboard uh, computers in updating the navigation uh, software as well as the navigation state. Columbia, take air data. Take air data. The air data probes are now feeding information to the onboard computers of Columbia. Now uh, 75 nautical miles from the landing site are about 86 statute miles. Present altitude is 90,000 feet, traveling 2,000 miles per hour. And Columbia approaching the hack, uh, looking good. Uh, latest winds are 340 at 7 gust 11, and you will be a nominal shoot deploy. Copy winds, nominal shoot deploy. Scott Horowitz uh, providing uh, updated landing information to Kevin Kriegel as a commander aboard Columbia. Speed down to 1,100 miles per hour, altitude 68,000 feet, range 60 nautical miles, or 40 nautical miles, time to touch down, 5 minutes, 10 seconds. Columbia is approaching the Kennedy Space Center from the northwest and should shortly be passing directly over the center as it approaching the, approaches the uh, imaginary heading alignment circle. Commander Kevin Kriegel is now flying Columbia.
And Kriegel's now flying around the imaginary heading alignment circle. This is a 230 degree turn, setting up for final approach to runway 33. Columbia, on at the 180. On at the 180. This unique view now out, uh, looking as if uh, you were sitting in the pilot's seat uh, aboard Columbia. Time to touch down, two and a half minutes, altitude 22,000 feet, traveling 410 miles per hour. Columbia, on at the 90. On at the 90. And uh, Kriegel now setting up for the uh, final approach, altitude 15,000 feet, traveling 380 miles per hour. Just about eight miles south of the runway now. Runway in sight, Houston. Copy. About one minute, uh, ten seconds from landing. Runway 33 in sight. Again, this is a view out uh, Steve Lindsay's window. Just under 5,000 feet now. Time to touch down, 50 seconds. This view of the heads-up display showing the speed at 300 knots and altitude 1,000 feet. STS-87 is the 12th straight and 19th of the last 20 missions to end with landing at the Kennedy Space Center. The United States microgravity payload mission becomes the seventh longest in shuttle history and the 41st to end at the Kennedy Space Center. Welcome home, Columbia. Excellent landing, Kevin. Who is now in uh, post landing activities? Uh, Commander Kevin Kriegel establishing good communications link with the uh, ground operations forces moving into position around the orbiter. Columbia, copy and concur. Completing uh, his uh, oversight of uh, vehicle safing before handing it over to the ground operations team at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Commentator George Diller to handle uh, ground operations uh, safing of the vehicle. This is Mission Control Houston. An official word now that the ground cooling has been established.